square root of 50 plus square root of 8 equals to what? Options are 58 under square root, 78 under square root, 88 under square root and 98 under square root. Many are getting wrong answer for this. If you are simply adding it like this, 50 plus 8 under square root, then you will get square root under 58. But this is not how we solve radicals. To add the radicals, we first need to simplify each of these radicals. So square root of 50 plus square root of 8. Square root of 50 we can write it as 5 times 5 times 2 under square root plus square root of 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 under square root. Now when a times b is under square root, this we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. So here we can write square root of 5 square times square root of 2 plus square root of 2 square times square root of 2. Now we know square root means it is raised to the power of 1 upon 2. So when we square it, the exponent is also multiplied by 2. So it is 2 and 2 gets cancelled, it is equal to a. Also, to solve a square root, we divide the numbers into groups of 2's. So here 5 is in group of 2, so we can remove the square root with the square. Also, if you write 5 square as 25 under square root, when you calculate the square root of 25, it is 5. Now this is 5 times square root of 2 plus here also remove the square root with the square 2 times square root of 2. Now how to add the radicals now? We take the common out because we cannot just add radicals like this square root of 2 plus square root of 2. So we take square root of 2 common. Now 5 times square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 gives us 5. So 5 plus 2 times square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 gives us 2. Now we can add these two. 5 times 5 plus 2 is 7 so 7 times square root of 2 this will be our final answer but here in this there is no option of 7 times square root of 2 but you see 7 times square root of 2 this we can also write it as square root of 7 square times square root of 2 because you can remove the square root with the square then it is 7 times square root of 2 so if we write it as 7 square under square root times 2 under square root then it is equal to 7 times square root of 2 7 square is 49 under square root times 2 under square root now again using this property square root of a times square root of b is equals to a times b under square root this becomes 49 times 2 under square root and this is equal to 98 under square root therefore our answer is D. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.